Are you ready? Because I am. J.P. Weiser's Whiskey created the Weiser Fund to help uncompromising men like Tim. His girlfriend signed him up for ballroom dance classes. The Weiser Fund wrote Tim a check for $87 to buy a knee brace. Mike's mom knitted his dog a sweater. We gave Mike a check for $56 so he could buy a blender. Let J.P. Weiser's Whiskey and the Weiser Fund save you from compromise. Apply today at weiserfund.ca. Brought to you by JP Weiser. We got a Tits Beer Bong 420. Is it recording? Yep. A uh, beer review from the one, the only Bose All Natural Brewing Company. Just hearing that Bose All Natural. If you know them like I know them, or if you know them even better than I know them. God, you should just be excited for this one. It's Bose All Natural Brewing Company. It's Tits Beer Bomb 420. Dun, 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 dun. Been holding on to it for a little while now. It's time for it, folks. Dun, 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 dun. The Bottled Imp. Russian Imperial Style Stout. Pro Am Series number 9. 9% alcohol. Local spring water, organic barley malts, organic oats, organic fair trade coffee, organic hops, and brewer's yeast. Batch number 3,978. Bottle of 11 month, 12th day of the year. Just read the card before I do my review of what my taste buds and brain are going to say they think of this one. Well, <clears throat> the Bottle Imp is a coffee-infused Russian Imperial-style stout, dark and complex. The roasted malt character is complemented by rich fruit notes, successing dates or figs, as well as hints of black licorice. With its well-integrated alcohol warmth, the Bottle Imp is best sipped slowly and savored. Pro Am Series bottle thing is a, a salute to homebrewers, true inventors of our craft. The bottle imp was designed in collaboration with Dave Thompson, David Thompson, winner of the 2012 Toronto Beer Week Homebrew Contest. Comes in with 81 international bittering units. Yeah. All right. I think this is like the first Pro Am series for me from them. Because usually the Bose beers I've had, and I've had quite a bunch by now, they're usually uh, in a different series and it's the same one. So we get the cap off. Yeah. Okay, review of the bottled amp, and hopefully this camera still has enough battery time. Sometimes it says it does, sometimes it says it doesn't. From the bottle, it's a smell. Uh, I smelt a lot of before with these stouts and dark beers. Sweet and very roasty smelling. And just this smell that's all way too familiar. Fuck me up the ass. No, not really, but whoa. Whoa. Not the best of poor. Almost went. Oh, just the teeny tiny slithers going over. But yeah, jet black. Brown head. Very, 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 very jet black. I'm trying to put it kind of near some light, but not to fuck up the hops. Can't really see any red. I barely do if I do. So jet black, I can't even tell the carbonation. Brown head, jet black beer. Extremely strong, roasted smell. Typical high percentage dark stout smell. 
something a tiny little odd and like a lot of roasted and like fire and warmth and woody and stuff and taste wise I think the hops and the alcohol will be the issue. It might be one of those beers that you might need to age more. Um, it's thick and a little like not thick, creamy in like a rich chocolate way. You get roastedness, you get a little bit of like a saltiness or something, you get a lot of bitterness. So it sits like heavy bodied and a tiny little uncomfortable in the stomach, and the booze at 9% just. The alcohol just grabs you and says, I'm here, fucker. A lot of bitterness, 81 IBUs. Lots of roastedness. Really chocolatey. Heavy bodied. I don't know, it's good. But not fucking great. Like the bitterness and the saltiness and the alcohol seemed too much at the time I'm drinking it it seems like maybe if I held on to a long time otherwise cut the alcohol and bitterness down and what seems salty to me fuck it off when you get some chocolate and you get some roastiness it's fine but I've had at least two other stouts from Bose the Tom Green Milk Stout and their sleepy, mad sleepy time uh, Belgium style one. Those are way better. At the end of this, I'm going to be too full and feel a little gross with the alcohol and taste. But it's not bad. It's just, it's not one of the better Russians, Imperial Stouts in my opinion. And now if I'm still recording, bong rips. I've got a lighter nearby. Ugh. <laughs> stouts. I'm in the stouts. Don't get me fucking wrong. Dark beers are my thing, but some are just too bitter, too boozy for when I go into them. Some are okay. Some could be better. Some are fantastic. This one bugs me a bit. <laughs>